The IMF is expecting growth in sub-Saharan Africa this year to slow to 3.6% as a big funding squeeze tied to the drying up of aid and access to private finance hits the region. If no measures are taken, the Washington-based lender says the shortage of funding may force countries to reduce fiscal resources for critical development like health, education and infrastructure. Sub-Saharan African countries lag significantly in revenue collections with the median tax ratio of only 13 percent of GDP in 2022. That's compared with 18 percent in other emerging economies and developing countries as well as around 27 percent in advanced economies. The IMF has provided the region with around 50 billion dollars in financing since the start of the coronavirus pandemic and has said it will continue to work with the region. Bearing better news, but unfortunately we're expecting uh, growth to decelerate from 3.9% to 3.6% in 2023. Uh, and this to a large extent reflects the big funding squeeze that countries are facing at the moment. So there are a number of reforms that need to be pursued. I think first and foremost, of course, is policies to strengthen the resilience of uh, economies. So many countries, for example, there's a big challenge uh, on uh, mobilizing more domestic revenues. That needs to be addressed wherever that's the main challenge. Second, I think it's also important to consider policies to insulate uh, domestic economies from external environment. So allowing exchange rates to adjust uh, interest rates to uh, be recalibrated to reflect better, to reduce inflation, are all going to be very important uh, part of the policy response to this adverse external environment.